media. So that's kind of my career. Finance, advertising, tech, media was my career. Was until? Until I took a long sabbatical in the grips of cocaine and alcohol addiction. Okay. Yeah. How long was that sabbatical? Two years, roughly. I wasn't working. Yeah. Okay, so but when did you start with uh, cocaine and uh, alcohol? Cocaine started at 21. Um, before that, like I was, I'd say, yeah, uh, an addictive weed smoker from the age of like 14. Okay. Um, I was smoking weed every day, selling weed. So in my, even in my diving career, like I was smoking a lot of weed. Um, but I was when, when other people, like my friends, would start doing other drugs, cocaine, ecstasy. I wasn't drawn to it. Mm. I was happy. I just smoked my weed. I drink some some drinks in the park, yeah. that kind of stuff. But nothing nothing harder. Then I gave up diving at 18 and going out more. And when I was 21, like I now see it as no surprise that I took that stimulation, that identity, the focus of yeah, my diving away. Because also diving is a pretty high adrenaline sport. Mm -hmm. So you get addicted to that feeling, I guess. This is the thing I now know, like you, you picked up on that straight away. It took, me, it took me some years to get the awareness of it, but in recovery now I can see that from the age of 10, five, six, seven days a week, I was getting masses, massive doses of dopamine, adrenaline. Yeah. Like that was, that was my buzz. And also like the thrill of competing, preparing for a competition, being focused on that preparation, the sense of identity as a diver. Mm. And then when, when all of that stuff's gone, you know, I, I didn't realize it at the time, but I'd start to... But what you said is like, uh, I want to try just once. Mm. And that can be a very dangerous way of thinking though. Yeah, but then if you look at this in... Uh, like about anything in your life, then you're gonna end up not doing things. You know, it's like, but how does it feel? How does no, no, it no, feel? No, no, true. But the fact is that I think that, especially this happened with men, we feel we're stronger than what we actually are. Hmm. Like I know people that said, yeah, you know, I want to try heroin just once because I know I'm not gonna get addicted. I was like, oof, be fucking careful. Yeah, I guess that's... The thing like, I, I don't preach to people, drugs are bad, don't do drugs. Right, but my experience was that uh, me and several people I know became addicted to drugs and alcohol. Mm. Many others didn't. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, they tried it, they, they, they partied a lot, they might go on four day bender weekenders and then not touch any drugs for four or five months and right. then do it again. So I don't preach, don't do drugs. But it's about having the awareness. Like for you, you'd never done cocaine before. You don't know how you're going to respond to it. You don't know what events are going to come up in your life as you go along mm -hmm. that might go, ah, oh, I remember when I took cocaine, it escaped me from mm. these senses of feelings. Right. And your brain will remember that. You might not consciously know it, but you know. So if you never take cocaine, you're never going to be addicted to cocaine. Right. I mean, my experience was that like when I first started taking cocaine, it was great. It's like, I'm, I'm out in the party. This is good. This feels great. But like, also I'm working wise, like if you're everybody. in sales, I had a lot of colleagues in sales, very good salesmen. Then you take cocaine and you start selling like a motherfucker. And I, I would have been at a stage where it was helpful. And then I got to the stage where I would mm. take the cocaine because I couldn't not take the cocaine, but I would be terrified to pick that phone up. <laughs> so like the effect of the drug starts to shift over time um, that was my experience anyway. so what made you say okay I need to make a change I'd been I'd been saying it for a long time for I think like most of that two year period that I wasn't working in fact long before that and, and were you in Bali or were you still in the UK I was in the UK the first year and a half of my recovery was in London okay. and then I, I had about two and a half years were you actually in rehab or did you I, I went into rehab I went into how rehab. long how long did you stay in rehab uh, just under six weeks I was um, in treatment just under six weeks yeah yeah and that was in London the, yeah in Kent just outside oh, okay. and, so. and like because many people try rehab and did you the first time you tried you went clean or it was a process 
Yeah, but I mean, I'd been trying to get sober for a long time mm. before that, a long time. And, and I, I, like, I was choosing to be in rehab myself. Like, I used the last bit of That's my awesome. money to, to, to go to rehab, and I, I, I wanted to be there. So <laughs> I used the last bit of my money to be there. I desperately wanted to be there. I was praying for a solution, but I was still smuggling cocaine into rehab and using oh. coke whilst I was oh. there. So there's like, it, that can give a little insight into the insanity of addiction.